What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the expansion team, the Saskatoon Stealth. And uh, picking up where we left off, we're here at the deadline considering making a trade or two, probably just one. I don't know, we'll see. And uh, I already made some line changes, so I'll show you guys those real quick. We got them all set up. Oh, I need to change his player type. But yeah, so we got Lias Anderson up here. He's going to be playing third line with Stapleton and Kapanen. And we're putting Stapleton back in his role now. And uh, while it might hurt us for the playoffs, it's not. It's going to help us for the future. And this line could get some weird scoring going here on this line. Uh, and I think Yaskin should be just fine on the first line. Look at his shot. His shot's really good. Playing with Duchesne and Wheeler. So that shouldn't really be affected too much. Second line, sure, it might not, it's not going to be great. But... I don't know, maybe we can still make the playoffs with this. That's the goal, try to still make the playoffs. And the other goal is to probably improve our defense at the same time. So we're going to look for that uh, top four option. Uh, and then do uh, Ouellette and Reinhardt probably in the top six. And Polka, I think, has got to go. I don't, I don't know if he's going to get much better. I don't, if, if he does, he's only going to be top six. And we have get those guys already who are listed as that and whose defense is bit better i mean reinhardt's isn't amazingly better in fact pokas could be better if he grew but that's if he grows so and um, like top sixes are a diamond dozen i mean we're gonna have pulak will probably be uh as good or better than reinhardt if i think he'll i mean he looks like he's gonna grow we got, still got Lilgren coming up the olafson guy i mean i don't think we're gonna run into problems in that regard so i uh i did those did those lines like that now, the thing is to just pull the trigger on a trade. Now, there's a few people we're looking at. I think McCabe might be the best option here. I know he wasn't on the block or anything, but, uh, yeah, he's on Buffalo, I think. He looked really good, and I think he was actually still relatively youngish. Uh, yeah, he's still young, still got a year to grow. I doubt he will grow, but he's still got a year to do so. And he's got really good defensive stats. Really good defensive stats for the top four. He'd be perfect to play next to Vatanen. He's kind of the good, the, like the shutdown option for him. So we're going to chuck him in there. And uh, I think the guys are throwing in Polka. Give him a young, you know, give him a young guy back. He's got, still got two years on a really good deal for him. So give him that back. And then just some of those unsigned goalies. See, see if those will go through. I think this is going to be the best option here. So... Just some of these fringe starters that we're just not going to use them. So, chuck in. Even the backup. I might not have to throw in that backup, but I might. Uh, I might have to throw in. Actually, I might be able to save. Let me save onto the younger fringe starter. Oops. Younger fringe starter. Chuck in that backup instead. And I can even throw in Kravchenko, you know. Maybe. Or I can hold on to him because someone's probably. Hold on, is someone gonna make the jump up? Vava line it, nah. I was thinking Vava line it might make the jump up the backup, but no, I don't think so. How many years does Subban have? Ooh, actually, does he want an extension? I can't check from here anyway. Okay, anyway, hold on. That that's uh that's a different move. I'm getting ahead of myself here. All right, so Oliver Lipton, yeah, I think I'd still need to throw in something else here. Okay, well. I don't think this will go through. I'll try. I highly doubt it goes through, yeah. Doesn't meet the block needs. Um it'll have to be all three of the unsigned goalies most likely to have a chance to go through. Maybe I can hold on to Lindgren. And, like, use that in some other deal. But I don't know. Even this, I don't think will go through. We're trying to get McCabe. It's a pretty pretty pricey. Uh, I, would, I would make this guy pretty pricey. He's, you know, he's right smack in a, at a good age for us. Especially with the rest of our defensive core. So, yeah. I'll, tr I'll try this. Poka with uh, Oliver, uh, Oliver and Connor. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, not at the snuff at all, they say. I don't even think with Lindgren in there, it gets close. So... It would take some other stuff here. Yeah, that's uh, totally unwilling to part ways. So I'll keep the two French starters in there. What else could I give them that they want? Do they want any picks? Because I might be, I'd probably be willing to give up some picks here. 
Like we have a couple fours, a lot of fives. We have a lot of fives. No, those can be good to scout um, for some later guys. And before I do that, well, no, no, no. I can I can pick up some other stuff like that if I want to. Well, hold on. Before I do this, then all right, Poka over Connor for McCabe. Before I before I go too much further, then I'm gonna check one thing. I'm going to see if we did find uh, any sort of uh, elites or anything quite yet, like in the later rounds. If I anyone who like maybe looks like they could be, just anything like that. Well, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, ooh, an elite sniper in the second or third round. Okay, so I don't want to trade my second or my third. Or at least my... Okay, so this year I'm not going to trade my second because I'm just going to pick this guy up in the second. Okay, so bear that in mind. Uh, here's a guy in the fifth round that might be elite. Okay. So I definitely want to have a fifth. I want to have a four at least to guarantee that. I, th I still think I can be able to get guys. You know, the thing is we're going to probably lose out on something here. Oh, top six undrafted. That's huge. Nice. Okay. We're going to be fine. No, I think we'll be fine here. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to get a feel of like what would be in this draft. I just to make sure I wouldn't trade anything that I wanted. So, cause I was thinking about trading maybe a second or a third. Um, if we're going to be a playoff team, uh, then I definitely don't want to trade that second. And if we were going to be a lottery team, the third, it wouldn't be safe. You'd, you'd still have to be drafted with the second. So yeah, I'm just going to hold on my second this year for that guy. So got to remember that. Okay. Man, we're going to have a pretty strong draft, I feel like, this year, even if we make the playoffs. Just the way what we have scouted right now, I can guarantee myself probably two elites right now, which is huge. Anyway, let's try to chuck in some later picks, like fours, four, like fourth rounders. Uh, actually, maybe I want to hold on to fourth round. Maybe if it, we have a lot of fives, and what for what we want uh, out of that fifth round, it's only one guy. We could probably just get him in the – we'll probably end up getting him in the late four to be safe. So, yeah, we could probably – Throwing a few of those fives here. Anyway, let's try to get McCabe. And let's throw back in everyone that we were putting in. So, Polka. Yeah, holding on to Reinhardt and uh, Ouellette. And then chucking in all these extra guys. Connor, Oliver. Maybe Lindgren. I'll just chuck him in as well. And then maybe throw in one extra pick. Let's see. Would that get me closer? Okay. Let's say we chuck in, I don't know. I don't even know who's, yeah, we'll just start with Tampa's fifth. Let's see, would that do anything? Ooh, not very, mm. I'll go with a four for sure. Maybe our own if Vegas is going to do worse. Well, there's no, eh. Doesn't really matter again. Okay. Ooh. Not where I need to be in value offered. Okay. Let's remove Lindgren then. And go with a couple picks. I think Lindgren might have less value. So four, maybe a five as well. A four and a five. This would still be worth it to me. We're giving two goalies who aren't going to become jack shit most likely. And a defenseman who pretty much busted. For McCabe, who's a top four. So. Ooh, man. Would that third in there get me closer? The third I can do. I don't want to do the second because I want that elite, but the third is something I can do this year and still hold on to those fours if I can. And this seems this is getting a lot more fair for someone like McCabe now. Not where I need to be in value. Oh my goodness. Might go. I might have to go over the top for this guy. Three and a five now. You are quite far off. Really? Okay. Um. This is going to be weird. I might have to think about this a bit. We're going to add, try adding in that fifth now, along with that second from a few years from now. And we do have to overextend for a guy like this. So I am going to try a couple more things here. Quite far off, they keep saying. So let's... I would still maybe throw in that third. This is a lot to give up, but you got to remember, we have drafted really heavily so far. So let's see. We could still get more elites. That's not an issue for me. Like this, yeah. All right, all right. So let's try this. Polka, Connor, Oliver, a second from a few years from now, and a four for McCabe. There we go. So it is kind of a lot to give up, but that guy is someone that we could really use. Now, we did overextend. 
But we're still going to be able to get what we want out of this draft. Now, what we want out of this draft is those elites. And we still have the second, which we will get that second slash third guy, unless his vet rating starts going up, in which we could probably get him in the first round if we really need to. And if we really think we, it would benefit us, we could pick that guy at any point. Plus, we got those other elites in the top six undrafted guy. Like, we'll, we'll still have a really good draft, even though we trade. Well, I mean, we only trade away a four from this year. We trade away a second from a couple years from now, but I expect to be a really good team by then. And with the way the seconds go in this game, you know, I, th I still think it's a very, very good deal. So, um, let's shift everything. Put McCabe in here. Let's substitute. Um, I'm going to put him in the special teams uh, manually. Okay, uh, for this... Maybe put Connor Brown on the point. Who? Maybe Dan. No, nah, he's not amazing offensively. Well, he's better than Connor Brown. I'm just thinking if I should put someone else there on the point. Rather than McCabe. Because McCabe isn't amazing offensively. He's got a decent shot and all. Alright, let's see. We already got these three guys are their own. These two guys are on the power play. This guy's on the top line. Yaskin's on the second one. Yeah, it's going to be one of these guys. I might put Dan O on the point just because he's got a similar shot to Brown and he's got better offensive stats. It's kind of weird to do, but... I could do Yaskin on the point. But I kind of want him on the wing. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like I have want him on the wing. Just because, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's put a Dan Owen here. Yeah, keep him on their one-time sides. And then extras. It's just the four on four. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's do Reinhardt. And then, what's his name? Ulet. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. And then throw in the dude. That is McCabe. Okay, so pretty big trade right there for us. Pretty big trade. Do I want him? No, I don't want. Yeah, yeah. This is the. Uh, these are the three on threes. That's right. This is good. We'll keep Stapleton on the top line for the three on threes. That's fine. All right. So. All right. This should be good now. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got to remember. Change Anderson's player type. He basically produces a playmaker anyway. Let's change him to an actual playmaker. Where is the edit player? There we are. He's up here now. Here we are, Elias Anderson. Change the player type. Alrighty. There we are, playmaker. There he goes. It's now officially a playmaker, which he should be all along. <laughs> so let's see how he does. Okay. Now I think we're ready to continue. I, the one more thing I was thinking about doing is I should either extend Subban or trade him. I think I might extend him. Does he want an extension? I'm not too sure if he does. Because if I don't want him, I'd still want an option to trade him at some other point. So, like, the thing about Subban is he needs to be a starter somewhere. That's really... He does... No, he doesn't want an extension, yeah. So, he's... He needs to be a starter. That's that's his thing. I might be... Uh, he is 26, but I, I think they both started at 25 this year. I might be able to tender him and trade his rights. Or just let him get signed for picks. So that might be an option. We got Corpusala on a ridiculously good deal for the next couple years. So we have to keep that in mind. But yeah, Subban, he doesn't do super well as a backup. Like, that that's not super good. We would need some kind of a backup if we're going to trade him right now. But 
for the for the playoffs, I want to have them both. Because if one struggles or if one gets injured, yeah. So I'm going to take a risk, hold on to them, maybe be able to tender them. If I can't tender them, I'll have to sign them, which isn't a big deal because we're saving money on Corpus Allo, so we can overpay for them. I'm just not going to extend them right now. Because, yeah, I want the option of maybe being able to tender him if I want, if I need to. And I want to be able to see if we're going to have another goalie be a backup. Vavalainen might be that, you know. He might get that, uh, get the jump up. And that's what I'm hoping on. That's, yeah. Let's see. If I offered him an extension, what would it look like? It does look like growth, but I'm I'm still not going to extend them. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case something better comes along. I don't know. Who knows? All right. Anyway. I think that's it. I think that's the only trade I was going to make. I might. I could maybe ship off some crap I'm not using. Some like, un, like uh, unsigned uh, reds and stuff like that. So let me see if we have any of those. And I could just ship those off for... Uh, for some, you know, for some extra picks here and there. That's, we'll check that out. Do we have anyone like that? Yeah, so this guy. Probably Casper, like a seven, eh. Maybe a couple of these bottom sixes. The older ones, the 19-year-olds will ship off like 19, 19. Yeah, I don't have to ship them off on one deal though, so hold on. I'll ship off like two at a time. Yeah, let's ship off two at a time here. All right, so these two. Anyone want one or the other? No, probably not. Okay, so just find a shitty team who wants to give up later picks and see what we can get. So let's see. I know we can't probably can't get a four, although it'd be nice. I highly doubt it. Nope. Okay, so let's try. Get fives, get sixes, get every, anything we can. Anything we can for these craps. Quite far off from value. How about just a five? Yep. All right. Sweet proposal. I probably could have got a seven in there then. So bear that in mind for the next guys. Could probably get a seven in there. All right. So a few more. Mm, let's see. Let's do two more guys. I'm mm, no, nah, I don't think this guy will be anything. Let's do these two guys in next. Then I'll have one more pair too. All right, let's see. Here we go. Islanders. Let's get our pick of the litter here. Oh, they, okay. They want to hold on to all those. I see. I might, I mean, can I get a four for this one? Let's try to get there four. Can I get a four for these two guys since they're a bit better? Nope. Okay. So let's try to get a five and a seven or whatever I got last time. We're going to have a lot of fives here. Or was it a five and a seven? Or was it a six that I had to get? It was a five and a seven. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we're, again, we're going to have a shit ton, of, shit ton of fives. You know what I might want to get? Since we have this many fives, I might want to just get some. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to want to get some sixes here. Yeah, I want to spread some of this out. So these next two, I might do them a bit. I might do them separately. See if I can get a six and a seven for each one. I doubt it, but at least maybe get a six for them. At least that. So let's try to try these uh, to trade them separately for sixes. You know what? New Jersey wasn't that great. They probably want to give up. Oh, they want they have Taylor fucking Hall on the block. Hold on. Oh, he's yeah, he's expensive. Oh, he does have one year left. Oh man. Some team's gonna jump start their rebuild. Oh, I see what I put Palmieri on the block too then, and then yeah, Bill, yeah. Oh yeah, that that that'd be a, Yeah, they should trade him and Palmieri. Alright, unfortunately we're not that kind of team and we don't have the value to get Taylor Hall. But keep that in mind. That's pretty crazy. All right, anyway. Okay, let's, uh, good. They have a six. They don't have a seven, though, unfortunately. But I might be able to get this guy for just a six. That's the goal. That's really all I need. I did want a seven, though. Can I get a, all right, well, if I can't get a seven from this year, maybe from next year. Could I get a seven from next year along with a six? No, quite far off. Could I even get a six for one guy? Yes, okay, beautiful. So a bottom six guy can get you a six pick, and that's perfect because we actually need some more of those. So we could trade off this last guy and get that as well. Backland, red top. Oh, I could throw in that red top nine as well. See if we can get a six or something for him too. Or maybe try to get a four. Nah. Oh, here we go. Hello, Florida. Give me a six. You got a six for me? Give me it. I know you got a six for me. No, you don't, you sons of bitches. You have two sevens. Screw you. I want a six. I want more sixes here. 
All right, let's see. There we go. Red Wings. Give me a six for this guy. Thank you. Okay. And one more guy, the red top nine. Might as well ship him off too. Where you at? Oh, we have a few. All right, so Omar, I could pro oh, I could probably get three of these guys and probably be able to get like a. Uh, oh my God, we have a lot of these bullshits. I might save some of them. Like I'll save the 18 year olds to trade next year or something. Let's put the guys in who might only have like one year left on their unsigned dealios. Yeah, let's do these three guys. Maybe get a four for these, for three. Maybe I can get a four for three of them. I'd be okay with that. But let's try to get a seven in there too if I'm doing that. A four and a seven for those three. Oh, absolute no brainer. I probably could have got a five then. My bad. Well, whatever. I'm still got a bunch of shit for guys I'm not going to use. So, hey. <laughs> still good return. I could, no, I'll save the rest of them. I think that this will be enough picks for this year. I'll save the rest of them for some bull craps next year because we might, yeah, we might want to, you know, do the same kind of thing. There might be some more late round gems there. So there we are. Let's, uh, we'll do all that. Got a bunch of new later picks and stuff like that for guys. I'm just not going to use. That's such a nice thing to do this year because you can just find elites. That's so amazing. All right. Anyway, I think that takes care of all that. And now we can continue simming here. And see if we can make the playoffs. We did. It's Our team should still be good. I do want to go relatively slow, though. I want to be careful. I don't want to fall off. Uh, you know what? It's more important that we grow. But I still think we should be a good team. So let's... I'm, on, I'm not going to... Yeah, I will. I'm just going to sim the rest of the way. You know, it's not imperative that we make the playoffs. It'd be nice, but it's not imperative. Next year, it is. Next year's our imperative make the playoffs here. But I don't think that'll be a problem. Okay, what were we doing? Got all two there. Uh, one here. Okay, I think we did. Let's do defenseman two weeks. Probably did forwards two weeks. Defenseman two weeks now. Come on. There's a nice win. There we go, Saskatoon. All right, couple big wins right there. We gave away points to teams in our division, but that's all right. Okay, three wins and a loss. We came back with, oh my goodness, we're beating teams in our division. We are giving them points, which is unfortunate, but we're winning the majority of these games, and we're stealing points off the Eastern Conference. This is great. That's a great start here. Great start here. Okay, so let's do two weeks forwards, one week defenseman maybe. Yeah, something like that. All right, lost, but we get a point out of a Central Division team. All right, lost right there. Okay, a few losses in a row. We got to bounce back. Central Division win oh damn so five game losing streak that's not what we need right now okay we bounce back there we go get some wins all right come on now 25 guys might be easier to go two weeks for, i'll just do one week for d though oh losses man come on don't don't do this to me now get some wins finish off the season for a win oh there we go there we go regina made the playoffs I'm thinking we should, too. There's only one fucking, <laughs> only two guys there. Let me scout the bees first, then. Yeah. 64 guys. It's really close to being two weeks or three weeks. I'll do three to be safe. Then I can just do two for defensemen. Yeah, I'll do three weeks to be safe for forwards. Oh my god, there we go, those are huge, huge wins right here, what an end to the season, a five game win streak, and we made the playoffs, there we go, both our teams made the playoffs, man, alright, Saskatoon, playoffs baby, that's what I'm talking about, alright, now, let's check out all the points, and our team stats, we're that kind of team now. We're starting to look at our team stats. What a turnaround. Hey, we got third in the division. Holy. We jumped way up there. 99 points. Ooh, this is a close race, though. Look at that. 98 points was the wild card. Where was the other wild card? Nine. Oh, my God. We barely made it in, though, to be honest. Oops, oops, oops. Ew. We got in by the skin of our teeth. Ooh, but, hey, we made it. That's all that matters. We made it. We need to score more. Not too much scoring. Keeping the puck out of the net a decent amount. I think that should that that might be a bit uh, underinflated because of our bad defense in the beginning, but I think yeah we still need more offense. That's that's for sure. Power play could get better. Penalty kills could get better, but it's all right. Home records pretty good. Away records good. They're almost identical, very similar. In the last ten, 
six, three, and one. So on a good stretch to make it in there. Wow. Way to made it in by one point. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Those last five wins got us in there, baby. There we go. Okay. Let's see about point totals. Oh, Stapleton didn't quite get... Oh, hello. 83's ready for second line. He almost got a 50-point season, but he did get 27 goals. And for a rookie, that's pretty damn good. Anyway, Duchesne, 63-point season. Wheeler, 57 with a 25 goals. Nice. Good free agency signing. Next year, those should be better. Anyway, Stapleton. What else can you say? Great, great season. He grew a lot better in his role. So, yeah, in the future, for guys that are NHL ready, I think I just got to play him in their role mostly. I think that's just how they're going to grow. Or maybe, I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, Vatanen. I'll just stick with forwards for now. Uh, Dano, 38 points. Kapanen got 32. Didn't grow, so still a bit worried. I'm still probably going to keep him on the third line, though. Maybe I'll put him on the second. I don't know for the playoffs. We'll probably get knocked out in the first round. We still don't have the best team, but hey. Ah, Yaskin's done grown. He's capped at 81. So, all right. But he's got good enough shot to play second line or first line still. So, bear that in mind. Pocket, pretty good. Looking at the plus minuses for these depth guys, pretty good. 78. Oh, I don't care if he doesn't grow anymore. He's perfect the way he is. Those defensive stats are great. He's got high aggressiveness and, yeah, he takes, he takes a bit of penalties, lower discipline, but hey. Sure, we had him scratched for a bit. Doesn't look like he lost too much, so that's good. Lys Anderson, did you grow any? Yeah, it looks like he grew. It might be a bit of morale, but you know, whatever. He got his death time. And he got, you know what? He got 10 points in 19 games played. So, hey, on the third line, that's incredible. Yeah, that's actually really good. So, good on him. Lys Anderson jumped up, did his thing. All right, defensively. Vatten in a 45-point season, good. Carlson, 41. Brodeen, 37. Oh, he's an 88 now. What a fucking beauty. He just keeps jumping up there. All right, looking solid. All right, Olofsson. Let's see. Let Ryan Hart, they still, they had good pluses. McCabe came in there. Uh, he lost some of his plus minus for sure, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's like a plus 22 or something crazy like that, but... I still think they'll be all right together. Not looking for this guy to be a point producer. Hopefully, he might get a nice little jump too, like when he's done growing. I'm hoping he jumps up to like a nice little 84. That'd be that'd be awesome. He might not, but he doesn't need to. Like I draft him for the player he is now, not for the player he's going to become necessarily, because he's already good now, and he fits our age bracket relatively well, bro. And he's matches age with Brodeen, pretty close to Vatanen, matches with Reinhardt, Ouellette, everything. All our defensive cores like really matched up in age right now, which is awesome. Okay, goalies, Corpusalo, what a fuck, what a fucking season for Corpusalo. Now, he didn't get the games played or the wins necessarily, but man, he would be a Vesna candidate if he had more games played and shit like that. Subban played a bit too much, you could say, and he didn't give me the points. Nope, he didn't. That's, uh, what, 24 plus 4, only 28 out of 30 games played. I'd like him to have a point per game played, so he didn't hit his goal, didn't have the greatest stats, probably will be moved. He just doesn't seem to sim too well, and he needs to be in a starting role. So, he probably will be moved. He's a no-man's land, man. He's like a fringe starter. But Corpusalo, he's he's right where we need him to be, simming like a boss, too. So, get him a real backup. People get a lot more games played. He should be a lot more happy. But, Jesus, those stats are so good. All right. Anyway, let's check out the AHL. Andre Ghetto, 71-point season, went to an 80 overall. Well, he's uh, he's a guy that would be a, is an AHL booster. Lice Anderson still had almost the most points in uh, 63 games played. Hey, Gabrick, there you go. Thanks for helping our guys out. I'm kind of glad he didn't retire now. He really probably helped boost everyone. Berard, 59 points. Ooh, he grew. He, oh, look, look how he produced, too. Barry Berard, looking good. Uh, Blandese, he did pretty good. I put him up on the first line after that, uh, average stage. Garen, not bad for his first, uh, year in. 67 overall now. Pulak, still this is minor top two, good. Uh, McLeod, and now it's 70 overall, so he's getting up there. He's getting up there. Oh, uh, Johannesson. Yeah, pretty good. Lilligren, 
Didn't have the greatest point totals, but he's 74 overall now. All right. We're getting there. How did our goalies do? Veva Linen was a boss, and Johansson, not that great, and he didn't really grow, but whatever. <laughs> I still would prefer him to grow. I might actually just trade the guy. <laughs> I'm yeah, I might actually just have him scratch for no, you know, for the playoffs, Veva Linen will just be playing. If he gets injured, we'll throw Kraft Janko in. Johansson will just still be a backup. <laughs> anyway, Veva Linen, that's fucking stellar. Like those stats are ridiculous. For especially with 67 games played, man. That's ridiculous stats. Anyway. So before we check around the league at all the uh, different stats and stuff, and see how our rookies match up to everyone else. I'm going to check out the growth, because that is important. Alrighty. Wheeler. Hmm. Might be some... Yeah, he's got some statistical growth in there. That's good. Brodeen, statistical and morale growth. Alright. Stapleton, natural growth. Hand-eye went up. Uh, morale growth to his discipline. Shot went up a bit. Oh, defensive stats went up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Could uh could have used play him in his role a bit more, but whatever. He's still only 19. He's still gonna be elite, man. <laughs> He's still gonna be high 80s at least. Uh, Yaskin, statistical growth. Yep, always. Lawton. Let's see. This might. Oh, oh my goodness. He got a lot of statistical growth, and good natural growth. Interesting. And some morale growth. Yeah, he got a bit of everything. Did Lawton. Nice. All right, sure, probably decline. Uh, yeah, statistical decline for tyranny. No growth, unfortunate. Zingle, yeah, they didn't. will probably be declining, but good depth for us. Carlson, statistical growth, some morale growth by the looks of it. Elias Anderson, some natural growth in there. I don't know if he already had that, but he's got it. Yeah, not much, but a bit. And Corbusolo, <laughs> one point to his recover. Whatever, he should still grow in the offseason. Dano's all done. All right, so Dano is completely done. And he's just got statistical growth. But he's a fantastic third liner. And that's what we're going to use him as once he's ready. All right, in the system. Uh, Berard grew the most. 22 attributes modified. Went from 62 up to a 68 where he is now. All right, all his puck skills got better by about the same amount. Offense awareness jumping up. That's good. That's really good because it's matching his passing too. Uh, discipline, it'll get up there. Shooting, pretty decent shot for where he is, and it's really even too, which I like. Uh, defensively, oh my god, this guy's gonna be a fucking beast. Barry Berard. What a pickup this guy was. Oh, he's gonna be quick. And he's gonna throw in that body around. Not bad. Alright, McLeod got a lot of growth as well. He's up to 70 overall now. Nice to his puck skills. Awareness is yeah, pretty on there with passing. Uh, shooting category, not bad. Harder shot than it is accurate, but hopefully that'll ch get better. Uh, he's not that great defensively. Could be better, but it's all right. Uh, good skater, and he, oh, he, his durability is 99, and his body checking is 85. His aggressiveness isn't that high, but when he hits, man, he fucking crushes people. Garen, a lot of good growth from this guy, too. Puck skills went up. Awareness is pretty on par with passing. Uh, shots really even across the board. Defensively, could use more in his awareness, but it's still good for where he is overall. Uh, decent skater, not that quick, but he'll get there. Um, yeah, decent physical category as well. Roberts, sitting in the juniors, he'll be ready for AHL this next year, so we have three power forwards. We're gonna be a gritty-ass team, man. We're gonna be a gritty-ass team. Alright, Roberts, but he got some good growth here. All right, awareness 70 with passing 67, okay. Oh, he's going to oh, he's going to be one of those with those shots. Yeah. I like Berard's shot better cuz it's more even, but this guy, the other two power forwards both have really hard shots. Um defensively, that's actually pretty good for where he is, yeah. Not bad. Uh decent skater should get better. It's getting that physical up there, all right. Warner good growth out of this guy. I don't know if he'll ever crack the NHL team, but we're going to keep him growing at least. We'll go through this quickly. Those are the main guys. Valeno, 79 now. Should, he's he's NHL ready next year. So, here we are. He at least kept growing in the juniors. He'll get a nice jump in. He'll probably actually be ready for second line this next year. Maybe third. Maybe have to play him in third line for a bit. But look at that offense and pass. Oh, passing is not as good as his awareness. But whatever. 
How's this shot? Oh my goodness. He's going to be a hybrid. Yeah, this guy's a hybrid for sure. He's going to get... Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. All right. Defensively, not that great. So yeah, he's definitely got to be a scorer, which he will be. Uh, good skater though. Good physical. Played him for full two years of juniors. Now, he took longer to develop than I thought he would. But this year of growth plus what he should get in the offseason, maybe that's just what the doctor ordered for a guy like that. Anyway, David Kreider, red top nine. I'm not too worried about this. This guy, I don't know if this guy is, he might still crack the NHL. He's going to be a late bloomer for sure. How's his defense? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the fetus. The fetus is growing 72 overall at 21. He's going to, oh man, I can't wait for the fetus. All I really care about, how's his defense? Oh, fuck yeah, you're a beaut. You're a goddamn beaut. All his awareness is already 84. He's just going to be a, such a brilliant shutdown guy. All right, physical. He only throws the body a bit. Aggressiveness is going up, but how is his sense? Is, oh, his discipline is going to balance that out so fucking well. Oh, the fetus. He's going to be a beast. Okay, Reese don't matter. Yakko yeah, Mobs don't really matter. P.L. Gilbert, blah, 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 blah. Okay, all those guys I'm not too concerned about. Any goalie growth? Yeah, Johansson got a bit. <laughs> not much, but he got a bit. Lindgren still got a bit. And Veva Linen got a bit. Yeah, a little bit to his rebound control and recover. What did you get it to, Johansson? Five hole Belchy um, and rebound control recover. Okay. All right. That takes care of all the growth. Now we'll check out around the league who the top guys are looking like. Oh, uh, where am I going? Yeah, oh, oh, there we are. There it is. Okay. A moment of truth. No, 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 HL. That's what I meant. Left trigger. That's what I meant. That's what I meant to do. Left trigger it. Here we are. Entirely. Connor McJesus, finally. 98. Oh, this makes sense to me. McJesus, not, uh, that that doesn't. Stamkos, is he not injured? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Injuries are off. That's the only reason Stamkos does good. I help him. All right. McDavid, 40 goal season, 98 points. Crosby, 60 assist season, 95 points. Not too bad. Then Tavares, uh, Rottenen. Ooh, Rottenen coming into his own there now. Not bad. No longer a red elite either. All right, so McKinnon may be having the pieces around him to succeed finally. Ovechkin, though, still crushing in goals. All right, we didn't have anyone close to here. <laughs> Goal leader was Ovechkin with 52. Next one was Stamkos with just 45. Tied with Tarasenko, so Ovechkin is still the king, even at age 34. Assist leader was Rantanen, and then Backstrom. Oh, my God. Backstrom was supplanted for once. Then it was Crosby and McDavid. Not too bad. All right, plus minus leader. Forwards <laughs> was Monahan. All right. Who's the power play goal scorer? Ovaskin with 18. Who's the power play points man? Van Riemsdyk with 34 total. Coming in a close second is McDavid. All right. Who's the most clutch? Ovechkin tied with Lucic, really? Hey, J Pav 8, baby. <laughs> Captain America declining, but still clutch. All right, uh, shooting percentage. Uh, Stamkos leading. Yep, Stamkos has the best shooting percentage. That's that's really good. And I think that's pretty much it. Hits, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'll check hits and fights for everyone in the league. All right, defensively. Let's see. Oh, this is... Oh, fuck. Please give it to Hamilton. Uh, let's see. This is actually this is the closest race we've ever had. Okay, let's see. Plus minus, Hamilton's better. Power play, Hamilton's better. Game winners, Hamilton's better. Uh, Hamilton on more minutes. Less hits. Ooh, less takeaways. More, oh, more giveaways, uh-oh. I don't know who to give. That's a tough one. That's a really close race between Hamilton and Dowdy. I'm not even sure who to give it to. They're both Canadian, too, so... How do we know? Yeah, this is crazy. This is going to be the closest race to ever. Just give it to Burnsy. He'll be the tiebreaker. Just give it to Burnsy. <laughs> All right. Anyway, not too bad there. All right, goalies. Let's see. I want to see. We're going to sort by games played here. I want to see how Corpusalo matches up. Okay, Rene looking like the guy. Isn't he like, okay, not quite declined yet. Oh, son of a bitch. 37, still 88. Damn. Can use that in Vegas. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, yeah, I think that's the best in the hands down. I don't even think Corpusalo had as good as stats, even with his less games played. 
Yeah, no way. Harris Corbin. Yeah, no way, man. Pekka Rene all day. But Corbisal is still had a great year. So good good job, Pekka Rene. That's clear, a clear Vesna winner. It's 67 games played with those stats. That's filth. That's absolutely filth. You're gross. Okay. Now, before we do the rookies, we got to check out hits and fights. The gritty part of hockey. The part we all know and love. All skaters. Who led in hits? Martinson with 209. Jamie Ben and Max Domi coming in. Let's see the fights. Max Domi's still not fighting. What an idiot. Uh, oh, not as many fights this year, but Ryan Reeves got 14. Clifford with 14. Nolan with 11. Zach Smith. Yeah, not too many fights this year. Everyone everyone taking a year off, I guess. Resting themselves. All right. Uh, damn it. The Brent Cat. Fuck you. 60 points. Yeah. I mean, Stapleton was relatively close, but I mean, yeah. It's still pretty good. 80, how the fuck do you do this 80 overall? Uh, he's got really good offensive stats, don't get me wrong. So does Stapleton, though. Better shot, though. But Stapleton led all rookies in goals. Holy fuck, <laughs> forced Paco Carlson with 26 goals. It's insane. I remember someone was saying to get a guy like this. Or get that exact guy, I should say. But let's see, are they beaten out by any rookie? Any rookie go? Oh, fucking Thatcher Demko, here we go. Nope, yeah, you say you're still trash, you little piece of shit. Fuck you. All right, so if that Demko still sucks, that's always good to know. Sucks at simming, you piece of fucking shit. <laughs> All right, so that takes care of it. In the next one, we'll be entering the playoffs. I, I, uh, I'm like, we're, we're entering the play. Like, what else? I got, I got to actually show the playoff tree. I'm, I'm not used to this. This is the first time entering the playoffs in this NHL 18. So here are the matchups, and get yourselves ready, cause it's gonna be. A blast. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like. And I'll see you in the next one.